Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 9th through the 15th of October, 2022. Hope you guys are doing really well. Um, I do wanna take a quick second just to remind you that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with everyone. I will also be giving away another free tarot reading at the end of the month. If you're interested in that, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, be sure to hit the like button, and drop me a comment. You do need to do all three to qualify, and in addition to that, the more times that you participate, the more likely you are to win. So, let's go ahead and get started, Sagittarius. Spirit, can I have the energy of Sagittarius, please? Sagittarius. Wow. One and done. That was fast. Okay, you have the moon in reverse. You have the magician. And you have the two of pentacles reversed. Okay, so Sagittarius, um, I do feel like you're manifesting right now. You are definitely in a manifestational mood. A lot of you guys... Um, are doing some religious or spiritual practices. Um, you could be doing some candle work or some spell work for some of you. Um, I am seeing uh, that there's a, somebody's doing like mantras. Yeah. But in any event, there's a there's a deep spirituality to to some of the the manifestation that you guys are doing. For some, for others, it's a little bit lighter. It depends on where you are in in your personal development um, and where you're headed. But I do see that you are definitely manifesting, very likely manifesting with regard to money because I can see that you've been juggling money. Um, and maybe having some difficulties. I see some financial losses here. Um, with the moon in reverse, there could be some realizations that you've had. Um, it could also be that there are some secrets that you've learned or some secrets that have come out about you, but it feels very much like realizations. So let's see who might be in your energy. Show me who's in Sagittarius energy. All right, so we have the universe. This is like the world um, in the traditional deck. We have the fool and we have the ace of cups in the reverse. Huh. So the person in your energy, Sagittarius, they're closing out some kind of a cycle here. There's a, it's either a cycle or a, it could be a connection actually. Something's closing out for this person so that they can start something new. Now they have the fool as well. And both of these are major arcana. So this is actually a pretty big deal. You could be manifesting this person. You may know that this person is closing out some cycle and you may be manifesting this person. Um, I do see though that they are, they are wanting a new beginning. And I feel like it's with you. It's a new beginning of some sort. As they close something out, they're wanting a new beginning. And it does feel like a new beginning in love. Um, the Ace of Cups is in the reverse. And I feel like that's just because it hasn't come about yet. So you may not, uh, you may not even know this person. You may not have met this person or you may not know this person. For some of you, some of you, you do. And this just hasn't happened or come about yet. Um, let's see the energy between the two of you. So I feel like they're ending something and I feel like something is trying to come in for you. Now you have the Elder of Wands. That's like the King of Wands reversed. So that's your energy there because you are a fire sign. And the nine of, they have the Nine of Cups reversed. So you're, 
your energy in the connection is not shared. It's, it's separate. It's different. I do feel like you are not vibrating as high as you could be right now. And I'm also seeing that there's a lack of action right here for you, Sagittarius. You're not acting on something. And I do have to say this because I don't know who this is for, but it's very clear. Some of you are doing dark magic. I would be careful with that because whatever you put out will come back to you. So please be careful with that. Um, and you know who you are. So that's very specific, but if that's you, you need to be aware that it, it whatever you're putting out is going to come back to you. Um, and it could come back threefold. In any event, for the majority of people, I just see you not really taking action. Um, you, you may have been in kind of a little bit of a funk lately, Sagittarius. You may have been in kind of a dark place, but that's beginning to lift. And... But you're not really taking action, and it hasn't lifted completely. For them, there's a sense of not not really getting the things that they had wished for. Or maybe they got what they wished for, and it didn't turn out the way they wanted it to. So you may be kind of sharing a little bit of this energy of being dissatisfied. Let's see what's directly affecting and this also tells me that, again, for some of you, you have yet to meet this person. They're in your energy field, but you may not have quite met them. Um, now, that's for some of you, not everyone. Let's see what's affecting this. Okay, so the energy is separated again. Okay, so you have the Seven of Swords. And they have the Ace of Pentacles. I don't feel like this is deception, though. I feel like this is, it's more like a it's strategizing. If it is deception, it's not like, it would be more like spying and looking, you know, like, like looking at. So this could be somebody that you, you don't really know, but you've seen. Maybe you've looked at their profile or something. But it feels more like it's strategizing. You're strategizing here. Um, and it feels like you're you're actually strategizing about money more so than anything. So you you may be more <laughs> you may be more involved in that. There this could also be temptation to get your money in ways that is not quite uh, quite honest or quite um, ethical. So be careful with that. The person you're connected with, again, they, they're moving towards this new beginning. It's this Ace of Pentacles. It's either a new financial beginning that they're moving towards. They're going to take a risk towards a financial beginning or... It's a financial, I mean, it's a, a risk towards a stable new beginning. It's it, very interesting. Let's see the outcome. Show me the outcome. Temperance in reverse. Now, this is your card in the major arcana. So, somebody's getting impatient. I feel like you're getting impatient for your money to balance out. So there's, there's a lack of balance for you for sure. There's an impatience. There's a lack of balance. Part of that is being affected by money. Part of that's emotional. The person that you're connected with, there's a sense of um, imbalance for them as well. But it has to do with impatience. They're impatient for an, a new beginning in love. And for... I don't really think this is someone from the past, but it could be. And if it is, this would be a need to heal something from the past. But for most of you, it's not. All right, so bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. This is destined. This There's a, a sense of destiny here. 
There's a sense of things beginning to move in your favor and in this person's favor. And I can see here, Sagittarius, you've gone through a difficult time. Um, and maybe this person has as well because they're wrapping something up. You've gone through a period of introspection. But I feel like things are turning in your favor. And it could be this faded connection is going to be the turning point for both of you. I don't know. Let's clarify. Spirit, why is the moon here in reverse? Why is the moon here in reverse? Look at that. You got the magician again. And the hangman. Yeah, so I feel like you were kind of in a dark place for a long time here, Sagittarius. And I feel like you've been waiting for something to manifest here. And now something is beginning to manifest. It's beginning to reveal itself to you. Something, um, something is revealing itself. Something you've waited on for a very, very long time. Why is the magician here? Ten of coins reversed. And and you have the fool. Look, you both have the fool. So you're you're mirroring each other. So you're manifesting a brand new beginning. You're manifesting a leap of faith into a new beginning. And you also have this ending. You may have lost some money here. <laughs> you may have had a big financial loss. I can see there's been an ending. And so you're manifesting a brand new beginning. And I do feel like you've been waiting for this to, to come about for a long time. And it's beginning to show itself. Why is the two of pentacles in the reverse? <clears throat> you are also manifesting money. All right, so we have the Three of Cups, and we have the Page of Swords. So you might, you might meet this person when you're out with friends. I see some kind of communication when you're out with friends. I also see this same energy of kind of spying and strategizing looking at um looking at something here looking in at something looking in at something and i feel like you it makes you feel happy there's a it'll lead to a discussion But I feel like there's going to be some kind of a discussion that you're going to have when you're out with friends, which probably is not happening a lot because you're juggling your money right now. And it's a page. So you're, you're going small. When you go out, you're going small. And that's because you're juggling your money. And I feel like there's some comment, there's something, there's some communication or something. Now, for those very few of you that this is a person from the past, you could run into this person. You may run into this person when you're out with friends. Um, but that's really not very many of you. Let's look at their energy. Why is the universe here? Two of cups, two of swords. It took them a long time to make a decision to end something. They may have ended something with, with a soulmate, but I don't know. I don't feel like they did. I feel like they were in a in some kind of a cycle. And it took them a long time to make the decision to end something because they were protecting themselves. And 
it has taken them an equally long time to make a decision that they're ready for a relationship. Because this person has decided that they're open to love. Sign of Gemini is there. Let's see why the fool is here. They've decided that they're open to love. They've closed out a cycle. All right, we have the star in reverse, and we have the emperor. Sign of Aries. So this person has decided um, after, after, you know, being disappointed. This person has been very disappointed. Their, their wishes have not been fulfilled. They've been very disappointed that they're going to take charge of their life. And they're going to have a new beginning. Now, for some, this person has moved forward into a either a new job in which they are the boss. Or it could be they've moved forward into a entrepreneurial um, pursuit. But they are there is a, a risk that this person has taken. They're 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 jumping out on a limb into some sort of new beginning. If it's a relationship, it, they they want something stable because that was what they they wanted before and they didn't get. And now they're kind of bossing up, and that's what they want. And that's what they're gonna move towards. If it's it might not be that, though. They could be making this decision that they're going to become an entrepreneur. They're going to open their own business. Or they could be starting a new job. And they're in a leadership position. Um, let's see why the Ace of Cups is in reverse. I can see that this person was disappointed in the past, though. And they had to take the time to close out that cycle and it took them a long time to make the decision to open their heart to love again but now they're they're ready all right we have the sun in reverse and we have justice so this is unseen this is unseen they're not going to see this coming it's the ace of cups it's not happened yet it's they're not going to see it coming, and it's going to balance them out. It's going to bring justice. Um, Libra energy, too. But it's going to bring justice. It's, it's, it's an unexpected, unexpected beginning in love. That they, they have no idea this is coming. And it will balance out the unhappiness and the disappointment that they have felt in, in a love relationship that ended it's going to bring justice to, to their life. It's going to write something that it's going to make them feel joy after feeling so disappointed and, and uh, unhappy. It's the balance to that, that cycle that is closed out. So I feel like the two of you might be mirroring each other a little bit. But I feel like you're definitely the one who's manifesting this person into your life. Um, let's look at the connection. Now, I really feel like some of you haven't met this person. And some of you may have met this person, but there's not a, like, a acknowledgement of, like, you don't, you haven't connected yet. But they may be you know, kind of looking at you as, as a possibility, or you at them more likely. All right, we have the Nine of Cups reversed. We have the Queen of Cups reversed. Water sign energy. And we have the moon. Yeah, you both have the moon. It's hidden. The love is hidden. It's been hidden until this decision was made that they, they could open up their heart. Um, you both have the nine of cups. You've both been disappointed. You've both, things have not gone the way both of you wanted. You're, you're mirroring each other here. They were making, waiting to make a decision to open their heart. You were waiting to manifest. 
I think they might be a little further along than you in some respects. Queen of Cups, reverse. You both are holding back emotionally. Neither of you have offered up that love. Now, and you, you're not perceiving each other. You're not, um, it, even if you know each other, you're not like, um, you're not trusting that this is the potential love of your life yet. The Queen of Cups is extremely perceptive. And here we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So you're not perceiving each other. Queen of Cups holds her cup of love but she doesn't just give it to anyone and the lid is on. She doesn't just give it to anyone. She keeps the lid on and she's picky about who she gives it to. So in the reverse, the love has not been given. And why? Well, it hasn't been given because you're still in this energy of, I've been disappointed. I'm not taking action, but I'm manifesting. And I've been manifesting a long time, and now something is starting to become revealed. Your person here, now, they're, the lid is on their cup too, and why? Well, I've been disappointed in love, and I am closing all that disappointment out, and I am trying to get to the point where I can make this decision to open up my heart to someone new, but they're still hidden from me. So you're mirroring each other. And the love wants to come through, but it's not there yet. And then we move down here and we see the two of you mirroring each other with this new beginning, wanting to take a risk. So let's, let's check that. Both of you focused on money. I wonder if you two are gonna meet somehow through work or through some creative endeavor maybe. But the thing that's consistent with you, Sagittarius, is that you are, you're manifesting like crazy. So I feel like you've literally manifested this person. Queen of Wands, that's again your energy, okay? We have Temperance. Now here, Temperance is in the reverse. And then we have the Five of Swords. So let's see what we've got. Okay, so this is really you in your power, and I feel like you're strategizing, you're trying to strategize, and i it's this energy of kind of looking into things. Temperance is also your card, so you're really in your power here, and that's a good thing. You have had some financial losses, I'm going to say that, and there's something long-term that may have ended for, for a lot of you. Um but you're eager to take this leap of faith into something new. You're manifesting it and you're strategizing about it. You're also healing, balancing out your emotions. And there's a lot of um, like uh, you're, you're spiritually, you're, you're awakening. You're, you're definitely awakening spiritually. And I saw that even in the very beginning. And then you move into taking action but you're doing it from a very empowered um, place. Whereas here, you, you were not. You were not in an empowered place. So this is the energy that's coming in. This is yet to come. This is what's going to happen through the week. So as you manifest and you strategize and you meditate and you, your energy rises, you move into an action phase. Now for them, this is somebody who is taking charge of their life and they, they are, um, <laughs> they've also been disappointed. I see this. There was a wish that they really wanted that failed, that they didn't get, okay? And I do feel that it has made them a bit combative. So, their energy is more, um, they're going to take action too, but they might initially be combative. And if so, it's going to be about stability or about money. 
And it's because of some residual energy of disappointment. But I think that they will fight for this. They're going to fight for what it is that they want. They're in this energy of, of um, this is a very masculine type of energy. Yours is more of a feminine type of energy. And we ha we all have both. You're in more of a manifesting, creating, receiving energy. And they're more, their energy is more of a um, penetrating, I'm going to go out and grab what I want. It's more of a masculine energy. And the two of you are going to collide with this action. And they're going to become very focused on you. They're going to see you in this power. And there, there's going to be this passion. There's like a passion that's here. And they're going to they're gonna be like so focused on you. Let's look at your outcome though. Because it's like temperance is in reverse. So why? Maybe it's because we just, by the end of the week, we haven't gotten there. Because remember, this is something faded. All right. So why is temperance in reverse? <clears throat> So we have judgment. We have the tower. It's going to be a tower moment for you. And then we have page of cups. Okay. So I think that this is going to be, this could be something that is shocking to you, Sagittarius. It's going to be a tower moment for you. And I think, so for some of you, there is a reconciliation with someone from the past, but I really do feel like that is very few of you, okay? So we have temperance. Now, temperance can be healing. Whatever this is, um, as I, and I feel like for most of you, this is a new person that you're going to meet or that if you've known this person, you didn't see this person as a love connection, until there's a clash. The two of you are going to have a clash. This person has that penetrating male, masculine um, type of, not, not necessarily male because we all have both, but that masculine type of energy. And on your side, Sagittarius, you have a very creative, I'm manifesting and receiving kind of feminine energy. Okay, regardless if you're male or female. There's a sense of imbalance that happens. And for some of you, like I said, it is a reconciliation. But for others, you are you may meet this person and it might go rough. It might be a little bit rough because <laughs> there's going to be a clash. So you might walk away from this thinking, well, I don't, I don't know if I even like this person because temperance is in reverse and that's your energy in the major arcana. And it also indicates an emotional imbalance. So someone feels judged. You both are going to feel kind of judged. It's going to be a tower moment for you. This person's going to say or do something that's going to shake you up. They may call you out on something. They may call you out on something that, that you're doing. I don't know. But I do feel like it's going to be when you're out with friends. And I, it's either someone you know that you don't have, you don't know well, or you're going to meet this person. You're going to talk to this person and it's, it's going to, it's going to cause you some uh, some upset. On their side, on their side, and, and trust me, they're going to come across, they think they're being very logical. They're going to wonder why in the world you're so emotional here. And then they're going to feel judged as well. This person is then going to come back in your direction. They're going to apologize 
because the truth of it is that they're going to come across as being kind of um kind of an ass a little bit maybe a little arrogant but they're not they're actually a sweetheart and this is a faded meeting it, it is it's a faded meeting neither of you are going to see this coming and they're going to come back around after there's been a words or something that's going to cause this tower moment and they're going to apologize to you. And the two of you are then going to talk. You're going to have this talk. It's going to lead to a connection. And look at this. Bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So look. Wheel of Fortune reverse. Moving into the Wheel of Fortune. So it's, it's going to shift. Everything's going to shift. This is an amazing reading. I want to be a Sagittarius right now. This is awesome. This Ace of Cups is going to shift. The Two of Pentacles is going to shift. Everything's going to shift. It's just waiting to happen. It's like the hand of fate is just waiting to, to like, you know, hand you this love affair. I like it. And you two are really mirroring each other. So... I'm going to pull a few oracle cards and see if we get any further information. I think this is the, my favorite reading for you guys. Um, probably my favorite reading I've done for everyone this week. This is great. Okay, so the cards that we have, we have Hammer, Sabotage, Rebuilding, Interrogation, um, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. Yeah, so the two of you are going to meet. It's going to be like a hammer. It's, I feel like this person's going to be like boom, boom, boom. And you're going to not appreciate that, Sagittarius. You're going to feel like they're interrogating you. And then they're going to come back and apologize. I really do. And you're going you're gonna to listen. You're going to be receptive. Oh, look at this. Engagement ring. Partnership, engagement, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. So this could actually lead to a committed connection. Okay, well, I love this reading for you. Um, I hope it's been helpful. If you would like a um, personal tarot reading, the information is in the box beneath this video. And if you're interested in the giveaway, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, hit that thumbs up button and drop me a comment. And if you meet this person, by all means, please come in and drop me a comment. I, I'm dying to hear this story. All right, until I see you in about a week, namaste.